All right, it will be Julius Johnson who will replace Buckingham. 12-point lead for VCU, the Rams' largest of the game at 65-53. We still thought we could win. Obviously, they had just pushed a run. Um, I'm pretty sure during that media timeout, the fans started cheering for VCU, and it kind of just set a tone for us. Hands it off to Quan for left corner. Cross-court pass to Gilliard for three. It's good. Yeah, it's good shot. Gilliard Anytime we're down, I feel like I need to score more or step up. And then that three right there obviously kind of got me going. No chance I was trying to pull this out. Um, four minutes left, down seven. I feel like this is a good time to make a little run. Obviously, the crowd got into it after that. Gilliard drives it right side behind the three-point line to Nick Sherrod. Sherrod spins down the lane, turns, puts it up, and good. Sherrod does Coaches it didn't really say give Nick the ball or make it an emphasis, but I think as a team, we kind of just knew let Nick go to work, and he'll bring us back in this game. Left, spins into the lane, rises for the shot, and hits it. Unbelievable. Big time shot. I'm pretty sure he said they can't stop me. It looks like they're not going to stop me or they can't stop me. They can't stop me. Just give me the ball. VCU to inbound. 35.4 to go from their defensive baseline. It'll be Mobley looking to get it in, which he does right underneath the basket. A double team and a steal by Jacob Gilliard and a layup to tie the game. With 32 <laughs> seconds to go, we're even at 76. I wanted to make sure I wasn't out of bounds. Um, was like right there, a steal. Had the ref have called me out or said I, I didn't have both feet back in, it would have just been devastating. So I wanted to make sure I got them both back in before I laid it up. Nervous about this last? A little bit. <laughs> Wasn't too for sure. We figured they wouldn't take the very last shot. We figured they'd, they'd shoot with about five left and try and get an offensive rebound. So we wanted to make sure we rebounded well. Back out to Mobley. Goes left side to Jenkins. Jenkins drives to the basket. Scoop shot, no good. Gilliard comes up with it. Seven seconds to go. Gilliard down the left wing to Quan Four, who missed the layup, but he's fouled with 3.8 seconds to go. I saw Quan ahead, and I thought he had a little bit of an advantage, and I figured he could at least lay it up. I, I didn't expect him to get fouled. I figured he would make the layup, or at least drop it off to somebody who did make the layup. After I watched it, I thought, man, I probably should have shot it. And I remember after they called the foul, I, I was nervous. The red shirt junior puts the first one up around the rim and good. VCU has one timeout, the Spiders have none. 77-76 Richmond, 3.8 seconds remaining in the game. And remember, the Spiders have a foul to give. Four with 15 points, second free throw, up and short. The ball is tipped around, Van comes up with it and calls timeout with 1.9 to go and Richmond leading 77-76. Um, as long as we didn't foul, I don't think anything bad could happen and I'm pretty sure Quan gets a steal. And that's the game. Quan four, knocks it away and the Spiders win the game. Richmond comes leaping off of the bench. The students come pouring out of the student section and on to Dick Tarrant Court. Richmond with an improbable comeback and a 77-76 win. I was so confused. Keith just started pushing me that way, and, I, and then all of a sudden somebody was on my back. I, was, I did not know that was coming. It's a good rivalry. I don't think the freshmen know too much about it. You just got to compete your tail off.